They have spoken. Freetown Western Urban has spoken. From Allentown to Calabar Town to Upgun to Central 1 and Central 2 and Lomley and beyond, the message is loud and clear. This is a political jamboree. Unique about it is that it largely comprises young people. There appears to be a flourishing site of first-time voters who are admirers of a very elegant personality, the First Lady. <laughs> time a political carnival has been organized here in 15 or more years this has not been an attractive place for such occasion so to populate this stretch of road as demonstrated here indicates a real political muscle of excessive power to command this mammoth crowd and the weather is just conducive evoking much more boisterousness and the tides of the Freetown River bursting out on the shore, sending refreshing waves of iced bubbles, drying up the gallons of sweat streaming out from the celebrators. This is a real enjoyment. It is a celebration of the bio presidency, a celebration of the bio governance and a celebration of the bio government. It does not seem that it is a day for speeches and long addresses. This is a day for the people to speak out, to offer assurances of casting their vote for a man that cares for his people, for a president that leads through a direction, and for a leader that continues to rule out development even barely four days to voting. I don't care we go back. Now the United Nations Security Council. Any country, any people. I know how we are. Now the whole world kind of vote. Out of 192, now 188 votes for you. What is seen here cannot be Freetown 12 or more years ago. This is a new Freetown. A free town that now champions their self pp sings their self pp dances their self pp and votes their self pp led by a man fed with love for his people.
SLBC News, Alibami Lahai Kamara.